just my luck. I try to live in the suburbs and I end up being the painted devil man. Bill showed us how to use the inside-out technique to perfection. But now we move to the next level of artistry with Willow's Sherlock Pipe. Hey, Watson, bring me something to detect. Uh, maybe something to smoke as well. Elementary. I love my Sherlock's because I think they're the most traditional form um, in glass. They're very like old world sophistication. This would probably be one of my more favorite shapes just because of the way it fits in your hand. I think that a lot of people uh, really enjoy smoking out of a Sherlock or using a Sherlock. And the way that it just, it just fits in your hand so nice that it just rests there. You don't even have to, it doesn't even feel like you're holding anything really. More than any other, they were definitely my best selling pieces. The piece represents, you know, what I'm feeling. You know, it represents my emotions, my sadness, my happiness, my bipolar crazy depression, you know? Whatever is going on in my head um, comes out in, in that. And then, in true art, you can see the emotion in it. The difference between Willow's class and what we saw Bill make is that Willow starts with glass tubes that he himself makes out of color glass rods. Here is one technique that takes this pipe to the next level of artistic design. Willow here demonstrates what is known as a reversal, short for access reversal. Reattach it on here. You, you gotta make a hole. You can't have a closed circuit where it'll implode on itself. Even though it is called a reversal, the glass spiral section is only shifted 90 degrees so that in the end you can see the spiral on the side of the finished pipe. Roses are red. Violets are blue. My rhymes rhyme. A lot of this stuff is kind of like washing paint dry, you know? Here is a particularly cool path. Yeah. I just did what's called a butt seal. Laugh if you must. That's the name. <laughs> the butt seal. Gotta massage it in there. First, Willow does the handle section. My rhymes rhyme. But yours don't. Roses are red. Violets are. My rhymes rhyme. But yours don't. Bustle. I love that fan. Next, he will do the can section. Then I'm going to shape the can, open up the section, stick it in the kiln. While that's heating up again, I'm going to make my marble. Or two. And then, uh, Stick the seam together, stick the marbles on, pop the carb, do the mouthpiece, and call it. The can will be uh, one spiral and then one zigzag section that's not a spiral. I'm going to nuke it down and it's going to be three or four blows coming up here. And I'm going to just real quick go 
back into the pan and draw out that taper right there into a more smooth line. See how that shape just looks more shapely. At least the way I shape. Everybody's different. My bowl poker has a habit of stretching the bowl hole to a ginormous size. So I've always, I figure I, I make it smaller and then I poke it and it stretches it to normal. <laughs> Here, Willow takes the two parts she finished earlier and welds them together by heating both sides. Using a piece of cane, Willow signs and numbers the pipe. what the attorney general doesn't want. <laughs> I think they call them hand-painted glass pipes. You see me painting anything? 